welcome to my channel thank you so much for being here and i'm going to do a reading for you so this reading is going to be a karmic reading okay so please keep that in mind before we get started these readings do have a tendency to get pretty intense sometimes and um, very detailed so just take the messages as they personally resonate with you Okay, information for personal and private readings are down below each video in the description box below. And let's go ahead and get started here. So this is going to be a reading between the masculine energy and the karmic partner. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the mutual energy between the masculine and the karmic partner. All right, so we got honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay, so I definitely feel like whenever I get this card, there's usually a masculine and a karmic that are on a trip together, um, possibly on a holiday together. Um, definitely feeling isolated from the world, but I'm just seeing traveling. I feel like, really what I feel like is there's some sort of boating trip, okay, or a trip to a lake or a body of water is what I'm seeing for this masculine and the karmic, okay? So there is some alone time. There is a getting away, um, trying to enjoy, actually trying to enjoy time together, is what I'm seeing here. So let's see how that's going. Again, just take what resonates with you personally. All right, so yeah, let's take a look. How is this vacation, this little getaway going for the masculine and the karmic? Okay, I got too late in reverse. Feel it's too late to fix things. Feel pressured to make a decision taking a long time to decide. Okay, and there's an hourglass there. So with this card coming out, you know, I feel like this vacation, this retreat, this getaway between the two of them, so whether it's close to home or far away for them, um, it's an attempt to try to fix what's broken in the relationship. And how is this going? Well, there's an understanding right now this masculine is coming to that it might be too late to fix things. Maybe even a realization that it is too late to fix things. Okay, I also feel like this karmic is trying to pressure this masculine to make a decision. And this is a decision that they've really put off making. And they put it off for a reason. But I'm seeing here this karmic is taking this time away with this masculine to really put the pressure on as well about this connection um, on whatever decision this is. All right, let's get another clarifier here. Give them a good shuffle, and then we'll pull a clarifying card for the mutual energy between the masculine and the karmic partner. Okay, material world. So this is a relationship where I feel like there is an abundance of finances, an abundance of money. Okay, but there's not a lot of love. There's not a lot of patience. There's not a lot of passion or understanding. Okay, but I feel like materially, physically, financially, they're good um, is what I'm seeing here. 
So this could be a situation where they are staying together because of finances. I also feel like one thing about this karmic is they are very, very superficial. Okay, so that's one thing that is very noticeable about this karmic. It's just an observable trait that they are very superficial. Okay, um, and I think that this masculine has started to realize by being with this karmic, by um, noticing and recognizing the superficiality in the karmic, they are realizing the superficialness of them. So they're they're like it's t making them kind of take a step back and look at themselves. Like I'm starting to become superficial as well. I'm placing money and material things over passion, desire, and my my heart, what I truly want in this life. Okay. So they're also becoming material. All right, you know, let's get another card here. Let's see. Okay. So yeah, I was thinking, sorry, I had to pause the video to look for a specific deck. I haven't used my tarot deck in a while, so let's go ahead and pull that out. And let's clarify this mutual energy further. I feel there's an energy of reflection here. And I do feel like this is a karmic energy because this relationship this masculine is meant to see their own negative traits through this karmic. And I do feel like this karmic is mirroring that to them. So while they're thinking, wow, this karmic is superficial, you know, this karmic um, is not understanding, you know, it places more emphasis on money than anything else, than relationships and love, um, then you know what? It causes him to really look at himself and see that he also has these traits. And the more that they're around this karmic, the more they're desensitized to that type of thinking, that type of behavior. And the more they also, they themselves pick up those traits. Because by being with the karmic, they have accepted that that is a normal trait, that that's normal. Okay. So let's go ahead and get another card here. Let's take a look at that mirroring. Okay. Okay exactly what is this masculine see and this karmic and in their self peaceful among thorns and it did come out in reverse okay it's a number 26 all right which goes to a letter eight and eight is about movement it's about um, cycles, okay? It's about repetitive energy as well, being repetitive. And number eight is about abundance, okay? Um, it can really be a lot about a lot of things. So we already know there's an abundance of finances here. And I feel this has been a cycle. Um, this masculine and this karmic has been in for quite some time with the number eight coming out here peaceful among thorns so what i feel here is that it is a toxic environment um that this masculine feels a certain comfort with okay so it's an environment they feel comfortable with even though it's toxic even though it's hurting them and i do feel like I don't know what is up with this masculine, but there's something like with one of their eyes. So this could be something where they like they close one eye a lot or maybe one eye is different color than the other. Or um, maybe they have like glasses where they only need it for one eye or something with one eye here for the masculine. Okay, but we got peaceful among thorns. So it's like... 
being in an, uh, an un emotionally unsecure place and environment for a financially secure environment. That's what I'm seeing. And I think that with this card coming out, it feels to me like this masculine has the realization that it's too late to fix things. Um, but they're just kind of tr trying to keep the peace. That's what I'm getting here. They're just kind of trying to keep the peace during this vacation or whatever this is that they're on. Okay, so, so yeah, it's like they're being peaceful. They want to keep the peace, but in their heart and in their mind, they have come to the realization that it is too late to fix things. And by going on this vacation or this trip, um, it's making them realize how unpassionate they feel towards the karmic, um, you know, and I think that they're questioning if they're still in love with this karmic as well. Let's take a look at the masculine's energy towards the karmic. And let's take a look at the karmic's energy towards the masculine. Okay, so for the masculine, we got the Empress in reverse. This is um, Libra. This is Taurus. And with the Empress in reverse, this is clearly how the masculine sees the karmic. They see this karmic as unresponsible. They see this karmic as honestly very high maintenance, okay? So very, very high maintenance very draining um, and taking a lot to keep up with like what they want. So it takes a lot to keep up with the items and the things that this karmic wants. They want expensive things. They want nice things. They won't settle for less and they are secure financially. Um, but I do think that they judge other people and they put other people down with the Empress in reverse, especially other women, other feminines that don't have as much money as them, that don't dress as expensive as they do. Um, so they have a tendency to judge them, to really put them down. And this masculine looks, really frowns upon that behavior. It's, and what they're saying, it's a turnoff. This masculine really sees that as a turnoff. All right, so let's get another card here for the masculine's energy towards the karmic. Create the reality of your dreams. Okay, so this masculine has not been happy in this relationship for a very long time. Also, with the Empress in reverse, I feel they're not physically attracted to this karmic. So, physically, they're not attracted to them. And I do feel like there is no sex. Ace of Wands in reverse, okay? There is no sex, okay? I also feel like um, it's like this karmic is making them kind of depressed or like, I don't know. Like, it's it's kind of sad. It's like they're so judgmental and angry and they're so nasty they say like the most horrible things about other women to the point to where like masculines around them will be like whoa like come on <laughs> you know that's real pretty harsh they're very harsh has a very harsh tongue as well this karmic does All right, so let's get one more card for the masculine's energy towards the karmic. Okay, so we got prove it. Not confessing unless caught. Determined to keep both. They are gaslighting you. So that is pretty interesting. I do feel like this karmic and this masculine has started having sexual issues quite some time ago. 
This could be even up to three years ago that they started having these issues, depending on how long they've been together. Okay. Um, I do feel like... There's someone else in this relationship. This masculine does have a divine feminine elsewhere. Okay, and I think that they dream about a reality and a life with this person, a relationship with this person. Um, but it's like they're not going to confess to this relationship unless they get caught. And that's what Spirit is saying here. This masculine, their lips are sealed. Okay, look at that. Their lips, their mouth, they're not talking. They are not talking, okay? No, not about their divine feminine, not to this karmic. Okay, um, for the karmic energy, we got the Ace of Wands in reverse. This is frustration. This is feeling unmotivated, feeling unpassionate, feeling rejected physically and sexually by this masculine. We have um, Scorpio here. We also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Ace of Wands in reverse. I put Scorpio on there because I think Scorpio is a very fiery sign as well right so um and yeah it is ruled by mars and pluto so it would be very fiery but um with the ace of wands in reverse this karmic is a control freak they control the finances they try to control every single aspect of the masculine's life okay they are 100 percent absolutely a control freak all right so let's get another card here for the karmic energy towards the masculine runners someone is running from the truth so they don't want to admit to themselves this relationship is over they don't want to admit it to themselves because that's out of their control. They don't like things being out of their control. You can't control it when the relationship is done. When it's over, you can't help the way the other person feels. And that is something that is very hard for this karmic to take in. Okay. Um, with the Ace of Wands in reverse, I feel like this person just like blows up at times. Like, they have an extreme temper. They are in denial about this relationship. They have been for quite some time. And anyone that goes to shatter that denial, to show them the truth, their wrath is going to be directed at them. They are going to become so angry. They are going to say things and lash out that you have never heard say to you before. And it's because you are threatening this reality that they have built in their minds. You are threatening that aspect of control that they feel that they need to have over this other person. It's obvious the relationship is over. It's obvious there's no attraction in the connection. But will they believe it? No. Will they see it? No. They're running. They're in denial. Let's take a look at further at the karmic's energy towards the masculine. Look at that. What did I tell you? Look, it says you are the number one dominating the situation. Your person is choosing you. All right. So, yeah, dominating. That is the word. This karmic wants to dominate. They want to control. They want to be the one and only thing in this masculine's life. So this karmic doesn't want them to have hobbies. They don't want them to have friends. They might not even want them to have a job. They might even want them to be financially dependent on the karmic. Because this karmic wants to be their one and only focus all of the time. And in that way, they can control them because they have their attention all the time.
Let's take a look at the thoughts this masculine has towards the karmic. And this is going to be a pretty quick reading, you guys. So let's go ahead. Spirit, please reveal to me the thoughts uh, this masculine has towards the karmic. Nine of swords. All right. So this is, feels like a nightmare. It feels like they went to sleep, they're having a bad dream, they're having a nightmare, and they just can't wake up from it. This is someone who has insomnia. They stay up all night. So whether this is because that's their schedule or because they cannot sleep at night, but I do see when they do sleep, the dreams aren't good. Okay, they have nightmares. Get another card here. Illusion. Is it love or an illusion? This is the question they're asking themselves right now. Right now, on this trip. They are saying, is this really love? Did I ever really love this person? Was it just an illusion? Have I not seen the truth for this long? For this long, I thought I loved this person, and I did not see the truth. Have I been delusional? Have I been... Am I crazy? And these are the questions that they're asking themselves. They are laying in bed next to the karmic. This is what Spirit is showing me. They are laying in bed next to the karmic, and this karmic is asleep, but they are wide awake. They are wide awake because they can't sleep. Because they are looking at this karmic and asking themselves, did I ever really love them? Was this ever truly love? Spirit, tell me more about the masculine's thoughts towards the karmic. We got inspiration, and we got trust yourself. So a lot of head and, and crown chakra energy, I'm really seeing that from your masculine. I do feel like they're getting a lot of downloads and through their crown chakra. They're getting a lot of messages from spirit. They're seeing butterflies. They're seeing bees, okay, um, different colored birds really getting their attention. I'm seeing all these things around your masculine. And um, what spirit wants to do is inspire them. They're sending them all these beautiful creatures of nature, um, messengers, um, trying to give this masculine inspiration. And it's inspiration to see the truth. Inspiration to trust your intuition, to trust your gut, to trust your heart. And to see the truth of it, to listen to it, to really listen with no judgments on what your heart wants to tell you. If your heart wants to tell you this has been an illusion this whole time, maybe it's time to listen to that. And if your whole reality revolves around this karmic like they want, then would that then mean your reality has become an illusion. So spirit wants to inspire you, masculine. Inspire you to trust yourself and your own intuition. So let's go ahead and take a look at the emotions this masculine feels towards the karmic. judgment in reverse okay the quote that i put on here we have been brutalized with loss that has made us brutal in return there is no going back from this moment so this is an ending okay it is an ending and i do feel like this is an ending that has happened a while ago but it hasn't been spoken 
It's an ending that's been held on to for far too long. It's an ending that has become illusion. And I'm seeing that this karmic and this masculine, they say very, very horrible and nasty things to each other, insulting each other. This, karma, this karmic insults them as a masculine. Anything that has to do with the masculine, physically, mentally, whatever it is, they insult them on it. This karmic believes they're toxic masculine energy. And they let them know that. This masculine sees the karmic as a toxic feminine. They see them as a karmic with the Empress in reverse and the Nine of Swords, okay? Um, and they see them as a toxic feminine energy. They do see them as such. Okay, and because of that, it's like they take out all of the resentment that they have built up from the entire world. Every masculine that's ever said something to this karmic, done something to this karmic wrong. All the resentment, they're taking it out on the masculine. And this masculine, the same thing. They're building resentment for the feminine energy the longer they're with the karmic because they're at the end of a cycle, the end of a stage, holding on to illusion. Okay. So let's go ahead and get another card. How do they feel towards the karmic? And again, with judgment, they're like, this karmic is so judgmental, right? And they're like, how? How could I have ever accepted this? Marriage. So they definitely might be married, okay? They could be married. I do feel like they're married. I do. And it's been a horrible, toxic marriage from day one, okay? Look, their world revolves around you. That's the message. That's what the karmic wants. And look, hard to control. Okay, so this marriage has revolved around the karmic. It's revolved around their reality, their ability to control, and this masculine allowing them to. As long as this masculine allows them to control them, allows them to take everything in their life and have the karmic be the only thing left in it as long as this masculine allows that the marriage was good but that's where resentment gets built and trust me it comes out that resentment comes out like hot balls of fire thrown at each other So let's get another card for the emotions this masculine feels towards the feminine. By the way, I have Aquarius here so far. Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Collaborative dreaming. So yeah, there is no compromising in this relationship. There is no working together. And this masculine has lost their sense of purpose. They have lost even, like, I feel like they're kind of dehumanized at this point. Like, they don't even feel like a person. Because it's like they feel like they're not allowed to exist with the world. Like, the world has to turn without them. Because, you know, um, in order to make things work with this karmic, they have to let go of everything else in their life. And they've done this in order to make this marriage, this toxic marriage, work. All right. And this is what they're coming to the conclusion to. And they're coming to the conclusion it is too late. I don't think this can be fixed. Okay. So let's go ahead and get um, the intentions. What does this masculine truly want from the karmic? Ten of Wands. They're feeling overwhelmed, overburdened. Okay, forever working, never getting a break. They feel like their life is work, 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 even though they don't have a job because they're constantly working to please this karmic. They're constantly surrendering their control over to the karmic. 
okay? They see this karmic as bloodthirsty. They see this karmic as someone who will step on people in order to get to where they are. And then I feel like they have like a very high up position in, the jo in their job, the karmic does. And they got there by putting other people down, stepping on other people. Okay, saggy energy here, by the way. And again, I'm going to make this kind of a quick reading. So let's get another card. Almost there. Answers are close, masculine. Don't give up now. Okay, a new beginning is at hand. And you know what I see, masculine, in your future? I see a new marriage. I see a second marriage in your future. I will tell you that. I will tell you I do see that. Okay. And this second marriage is going to be someone who inspires you and who's madly in love with you. Their world is going to revolve around you for a change. And we got shock of the new. Yeah, and I think at first it's going to be shocking to you. You're not going to believe it at first. Um, it might seem good, too good to be true. Um, but you will quickly find out that it's not, that you deserve this love. You deserve it as much as anyone else, okay? So let's get another card for the actions, okay, that this masculine would like to take. All right, the emperor. So they want to take back control of their life. And look what it says here. You cannot be frightened of everything you don't know in this world. Okay, so yeah, they're, they don't want to hold back anymore. Um, they don't want to be afraid to be on their own. They don't want to be like, you know, surrender control of their life over to this karmic anymore. And they know they have to stand up and take control. Yes, they are married. And they might even have children together. Okay. Um, I do feel like if there's children involved, this masculine takes care of the children. That is an issue in their relationship. Okay, because this karmic, I feel like, does not. Okay, with the Empress in reverse, they don't have that motherly instinct. Okay, they just don't have it. So this masculine, I feel like, bonds like twice as much with their children. They try to make up for that loss, you know. Let's get another card here. The heart leads, following their heart, choosing to be happy, no longer hiding their feelings. So they are going to decide to follow their heart. They are going to decide to take control of their own life and choose to be happy. And guess what? It's close. It's almost there. By spring, by April, okay, April of next year, this relationship's going to be done. This masculine will have a new marriage. I do see that. I'm sorry this reading is so quick. Um, this is beautiful. I'd love to go longer here. But... Okay. Release a dark wound. Let love live. Okay. So releasing this marriage, this toxic relationship. is This relationship is a burden. It comes with shackles to where your whole world is the karmic. The karmic is the world you're standing on, the air you breathe, everything in your life. It doesn't feel good for them. I also have Aries here, by the way. Um, so it's time to let your heart lead, to re release this dark wound, this toxic marriage, to finally allow yourself to heal from it, to release the grips of illusion, and let love live. And there is a love out there. There is a love waiting for you because I do see a second marriage in your future. <laughs> so let's take a look at the karmic's thoughts towards the masculine. Okay, we got the tower. It's no surprise. I love storms. Primordial. Every bit of civilization gone. Everything true coming out with the tower here. This karmic could very well be a Scorpio, a very fiery Scorpio, okay? The truth is going to come out. 
about this relationship. This karmic, they like chaos. They like to fight. They like to, you know, there's something about, like, I don't know. Um, this karmic actually likes to fight. Like, they do. They like to get angry and, like, you know, say all these mean things that, like, you've been thinking but you don't really want to say. Like, that type of energy. You know, I'm just reading this, you guys. Um, that's what I'm, I'm seeing. Like, they like it. It's like a release for them. And with the tower here, the things they say to this masculine can, can seem and feel quite bizarre. And uh, they actually in insult them in very, like, extraordinary ways is what I'm getting here. Like, this person, like, knows how to throw insults, okay? Um, they know how to talk. That's another thing. They know how to talk and they know how to insult people just as much as they know how to communicate and get their way. So let's get another card here. They like to cause drama in other people's lives and other people's relationships. There's always drama with them. Always. This is someone who thrives on drama. There's always something going on in their life. Um you know, or their work, or their relationships, like, they never can just be at peace, there's always something, because they thrive and they feed on drama, they got where they are by causing drama, by stepping on people, and now they thrive on it, we got walking away, all right, so this masculine is, feels like they're an emotional mess with this karmic as well, um, there's always some type of drama, and they see this karmic as an emotional mess. They do. I'm also getting a real, like, rageaholic type vibe from the karmic. Let's get another card here. Be on the mind, the heart beats. So, yeah, the, the love is not in this relationship. It's logical. It's about control. And this karmic loves to play mind games in order to try to gain control. And I feel this masculine, like, they do it because they're married and they, they don't want, they were trying to make the marriage work. But on this vacation, on this honeymoon, it's like popped in their head. It's come, they've come to the realization it's not going to work. It's too late to fix it. Even if we tried to change things now and we both changed our behavior, it, it's still too late. We can't fix this. The damage has been done with the tower. It's irreparable. It cannot be put back together. Spirit, please reveal the emotions the karmic has towards the masculine. We got the lovers. Okay. So with the lovers here, you know, again, it's a commitment, but I feel this karmic is very two-faced is very two-faced. They say they love this masculine, but they treat them horribly. They say horrible things to them. This karmic actually treats the people they love the worst. They treat the people they love the worst. And I do feel they have literally broke this masculine down, like mentally, um, with verbal abuse, mental abuse, um, really um in order to get them to kind of conform to what they want to do they've really like taken their time to insult them and to play mind games and to break them down you know and try to rebuild them in the way they want them to be that's not true love this is like this masculine's enemy that's what i'm feeling here it's a karmic enemy these two were enemies in a past life They were enemies in a past life. I feel in a past life, this karmic has caused the destruction and the demise of the masculine and their twin flame and their divine feminine. There may have even been like a death in a past life because of this karmic. We got crush. Okay. You know, this karmic could be seeing someone else, okay? It could be a Gemini. It could be a Gemini, okay? But they haven't been seeing them for long. It is the early stages of a relationship. 
and this karmic started seeing them because this masculine they feel the only way the only thing they can control is sex being physically dominated and controlled and not being able to work they feel like you know their masculinity is taken a hit they don't want to be provided for they don't want this karmic to take care of them like they want to do that they want to have a job they want to have their own money they want to have a career they want to have friends and it's like they haven't been able to do any of that because every time they have tried this karmic makes life unbearable unbearable with mind games with horrible things they say i feel like this karmic like screams like screams at this person hurdles insults and says the meanest things like and they don't stop they'll just keep doing it yelling and yelling and yelling and yelling till they get their way till they get what they want and this masculine has tried to make things work between them because they are married and they didn't show this behavior till after they got married so this masculine is like you know i can't control my life i can't control this relationship it's totally one-sided and you know but what i also can't control is that i'm not physically attracted to you anymore um you know, they're not having sex with the karmic because it's not working. It's not working to have sex with this karmic. They're not physically attracted. And so this karmic started getting attention from someone else. All right. They started getting attention from someone else around this time. And they accepted that attention. Listening for truth. All right, so the karmic absolutely in denial about the relationship with this masculine. Absolutely in denial. Especially with listening for truth. It's like listening for the truth of your heart, of your soul. Right now it feels like a crush, this other person that got this karmic's attention. It feels like a crush right now, but it definitely could lead to something deeper. And this karmic is considered going further with this person. There could be, there could have been some sexual activity between them, okay? But again, it's it's an early stage, so that may have happened, but it's still an early stage of a relationship from what I'm seeing here. So let's take a look at the intentions the karmic has for this masculine. What does she really want? We have Gemini here, by the way. Five of Swords, okay? Anyone who's ever been with me has ended up dead. It ain't a long list, but it's a bad one to be on. Okay, so it's like this karmic goes after people and relationships when they, like, break up with this karmic. It hurts the karmic, okay? Because they want to control. It, if they can't control everything, it smashes that reality that they have created for themselves. So... If you leave this karmic, if you smash that reality, you are on their bad list, okay? you They have it out for you. This is mind games. This is abuse. This is vicious, vicious tendencies. This is like... Like going behind your back. This is like cheating out of vengeance. This is like um, stealing all your money and draining your account. So this is like... Um, I have a sword. This is like, you know, also it could be violence. Going violent because there's that rage that someone has shattered your reality. So they may even become violent with the five of swords. Okay, but it's not good. It's brutal. Let's get another card here. I have Libra here. The karmic, I think, is a Libra or a Scorpio. We got waiting. All right, so this karmic feels that they want to be in another relationship before they end this relationship with the masculine, okay? Um, I, I do feel like this relationship with the third party and the karmic is going to continue to a point this karmic is eventually going to walk away from the relationship if it lasts that long, 
That's what I'm seeing here. Because I feel this karma can't be alone. If they go from one relationship to the next, and they attack the last person they were with while they're with a new person. And it's really quick. Really quick. I don't think they can go without someone. Alright, so yeah, it's talking about their process, their cycles. This is a new person, relationship, can't control them anymore, discard. Relationship, can't control them anymore, discard. They've done this a million times. That's why they're good at it. That's why they're so good at the mind games. They save all the really bad stuff, like the screaming and the rages and all that, for after a committed relationship. Then that's when they really act out. All right, let's take a look at the actions they're going to take towards the masculine. Knight of Swords. All right, so again, brutal, ruthless behavior, communication, saying horrible things, insulting them. Um, this is absolutely brutal verbal abuse, okay? Brutal verbal abuse. There is no line and no boundary they will not cross. They will insult every single thing about this masculine, and they have. And the funny thing is, they put the masculine in situations and scenarios in order for them to insult that thing. Like the fact that they won't let them work. They'll insult them for not having money, but they won't let them work or else the relationship will be horrible, you know? So it's like they set them up to be in the situation so that they can insult them and that hurts it it really hurts this masculine even more because that's something that's out of their control right so and it's not the way they wanted it in the first place so they already feel some type of way about it let's get another card but they're gonna cross the line here i feel like they try to push them to see how far they can go like with the insults what they can say like how far is too far? How, you know, what can they say and, and get away with? Like that type of thing. It's really strange. All right. So, yeah, come to life. So they are going to be crossing lines, crossing boundaries. They want to see this masculine's reaction. They want to get them pumped up, fired up. I think they're looking for a fight with the Five of Swords. I really do. Okay. They are looking for a fight. Because they went out on vacation, and guess what? They're still not having sex. So they're not getting passion through sex. So they're going to take that passion and turn it into anger, rage, okay? They're going to push this masculine, see how far they can go. All right, it's not going to end well. There's going to be a tower moment. I really do feel like that. And this masculine is ready to walk away to speak their truth anyways, okay? And I'm telling you, by April next year, the divorce is going to be final. They are already going to be their separate ways, living different lives already in, in less than a year's time, okay? So that is the reading that I have for you today. Thank you so much for being here with me. I will talk to you guys later. Again, information for private readings down below each video in the description box. My email is down there if you want to email me to book a reading. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.